Hey, this is Leroy with Around My House, and in this episode, we're going to be installing Gila heat control window film. So why am I putting on this Gila heat control window film? Well, about a third of your um, heating and cooling cost is uh, because of your windows. So your windows, even if you have a uh, double pane, which would help with conductive uh, heat transfer, um, infrared radiant heat transfer will just go right out the window in the winter and right in the window in the summer. Um, even when it, at night, if it's warmer outside, uh, you're getting heat transfer through radiant energy. Um, what this product does is it blocks 72% of the radiant energy. Um, so um, that really will help in your heating and cooling costs. Alright, so here's uh, some things we're going to need for this project. Of course, we're going to need our Gila heat control window film. Uh, but before we get started, we're going to want to clean the windows very well, so we'll want some Windex, paper towels, um, possibly a low lint cloth, uh, which also happens to come in the window film application kit. Um, we're going to want a squeegee. Um, also, uh, since I seem to always have dirty hands even when I wash them. Uh, I'm going to use some gloves. And we're going to want a straight edge, measuring tape, a marker, and uh, some scissors. Alright, so I've already washed the, the windows, but um, now we're going to just spray them and do a final wipe off with our squeegee. So now we're going to uh, uh, measure the windows. So if you have newer ones, you probably have like full windows. Um, these are much older, um, so they're partitioned. Um, so we're going to measure them. So that's about 12 and a half. We'll measure top and bottom about the same. And uh, measure up this way. So we got about 28 inches. So the recommendation is to do an extra inch um, side and top to bottom. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, so I've uh, marked off uh, 29 inches. That's an inch um, longer than the window is tall, as they suggested. We're going to hold this down and mark it. Alright, so now we're going to attempt to cut this. So we want about 14 inches uh, for each panel, and we have, in a sense, 18. Uh, the 14 is including the extra inch uh, they recommend uh, putting there, and then we'll trim it off. So I'm going to mark this uh, 14 and 14, and then we'll just have a strip in the middle that uh, won't be used.
All right, so there we have our two pieces. So now what we're going to do, we need to separate the backing from the film. All right, so what you're going to want to do is put some scotch tape on there and fold it over and then pull and you can see this part's clear and this part is silvery so that's uh, your film and this is the protective coating So we have our film separated. Now we're going to take our handy dandy Hilo window film application solution and we're going to spray liberally on this. Let me get it all nice and soaked. So now we're going to spray liberally on our window. So we're going to take and line this up. Actually they suggest doing factory edges if you can. So we're going to go from this side to this side, being that this is the factory edge. Oops. And we're off angle. Pull that back off. Try it again. And it wants to stick to the bottom. <laughs> there we go. Well, the idea was to have the factory edge up against here, but they didn't want to quite achieve that, so we're going to have to trim pretty much everything. It's up to the top I got. Okay, so now, so we're, gonna, we're smoothing out what we can, and we're now going to spray the outside of this. So we can hopefully get the bubbles out. Alright, so now we're supposed to take our squeegee tool and let's go down like that. Alright, so now we've gotten our trimming tool out of the kit and we're going to go and trim the sides here. So, first I'm going to see, try to get, so, so I'm using the other side here, they didn't actually say to do that, but I'm just trying to make sure I'm up against the edge because my windows are funkier being that they're old windows. So we're just trying to you know, make sure we're in the corner. Okay, so now we're going to use the other side that's actually sharp. <laughs> and we're going to go in the groove. Now I can tell you right off, so I have these black gloves on, I can still feel solar heat coming in here, 
but it's noticeably different from here to here. So I can tell already this stuff's working. Okay, so now we're going to do the step they suggest. So we have this tool here, edging tool. It's interesting because the box says you got a squeegee in there. I see no squeegee. Um, but you got an edging tool. So what you're supposed to do with the edging tool is take the low lint cloth they've given you and uh, you want to put it in here like this and you want to just just do the edges all right so that's how you install uh, the film um, I'm going to leave you with some pictures of before and after. Uh, like my videos and uh, subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This is Leroy.